who said that? Cam, you're wearing Kobe shoes. Is this your go-to shoe? Yeah, for sure. It's definitely my go-to shoe. My go-to shoe for a while now, so, you know, it's my favorite player, so. So look at it, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So I had a lot of good games in Kobe, so I just keep wearing them. So that's really What's all What's so special these. about them, these shoes? Uh, just him being my favorite player, and I try to imitate him a lot. Uh, just looking up to him as a as a role model coming up through my basketball career, just trying to do everything he does. So that's really all it is to it. So, yeah. What's your take about them being unavailable for regular clients? All the drops and stuff like this, it's almost impossible to get them. Yeah, it's crazy. Uh, it's kind of unfortunate because everybody uh, – Everybody likes Kobe's now, so you know everybody wants a pair of Kobe's. This is the legacy he had. So obviously it's unfortunate, but it is what it is. It's a popular shoe. Everybody's gonna get on them as soon as they come out. So you know it's unfortunate, but it's definitely a great shoe to have. Okay. You coached with them tremendously compared to last season. Uh, what is the main reason for that big jump this season? Yeah, just uh, the hard work I put in this summer, and obviously just playing more, being on the court more. Uh, I'll probably say that's all it is to it, just playing more, having more playing time. Uh, obviously, in the past years, when I have played a lot, I've had to, I had 20-point games, 30-point games, 40-point games. So when I have played, I've produced. So I'll probably say this year, just me playing a lot, playing a lot more on the court, in the rotation more. So that's probably the only thing. Thank you. Cam, you are one from the youngest player in the team. What's the impact of veterans like uh, Spencer Denuigi or Dorian Finnesman? Yeah, it's good to have, uh, just because, you know, they're, you know, in their 30s, they're, uh, they've are they seen a lot, they're experienced. So, you know, when I'm out there playing, they give little tips about, you know, certain stuff I could do on both ends that could help. Because, you know, they've, they've been in big games, big playoff games, so they know, like, what it takes. So it's good to have vets like that on your team. So it's really good for me to learn from those, those guys for sure. Sam's still quite young, obviously, into your NBA career, early for you. How does it feel to come out to a country like Paris to come play basketball? Yeah, it's good. Uh, it's my first time out, out in the country. so. Yeah, this is different for me for sure. So it's good to just be in a different spot playing basketball in the country. So it's good. Do you feel like it's going to have an impact on your game? Or? Oh, no, no, not really. I really just just trying to stay in much of a rhythm as I can, try to keep my routine as simple as possible. Time you know. difference been a factor? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. That definitely <laughs> is. That's definitely been a factor for sure. So I just got used to that. I'll probably be straight by tomorrow. I just go back from New York not long ago myself. And it was it's crazy, crazy, right? Yeah, yeah. it's crazy. <laughs> yeah, so. Uh, do you maybe like the idea of playing maybe the final four of in-season tournament next year in Europe because the format is quite right for the Europe and people are maybe, um, they like it here and they are accustomed to it. So how do you think about this idea? It'll be different. It'll be different for sure. Uh, yeah. Probably, di probably in a different place than Vegas. I'm tired of going to Vegas from <laughs> from the preseason this year and my two summer league years. Yeah, I'm tired of going to Vegas. So, probably, I mean, we can do it in a different country. That'll be cool for sure. Okay. What's the uh, feeling around the group at the moment? Obviously, currently sitting in the temp seat. Yeah, uh, it's kind of wide open at the moment. Yeah, right? yeah. Uh, the vibes are good. Uh, there's a lot of games left. You know, mm. our best basketball is ahead of us. We just got to stay locked in and keep producing. But we have a lot. Good vibes right now. We're just staying locked in and just, you know, take one game at a time. Any recent changes from management to the team? Say it again? Any recent changes from management towards the team? In terms no. of that, that mindset, changing the pink cups, trying to get us to some wins in? No, uh, just probably say getting more keen in on our game plan, our schemes, our principles. So just uh, just staying locked in on that and just re-emphasizing on that stuff because we got away from that a little bit. So we're going to keep re-emphasizing those kind of things. So. No, I mean, everything's been good. Everything's been the same. Good vibes. Good everything. So it's good. Cam, you're currently shooting 20% or 40% from three and 45% from the field goal. How does it feel to get more playing time this season as well? Obviously, averaging 21 points as well. Yeah, that's good. Uh, just, you know, just having the rhythm, playing more, like you said. I, you know, I don't really have much to say on that. It's just I'm playing more, just getting more rhythm, more reps in. So it's just really, that's a, really the only thing that is to it for me. Obviously, again, come in the temp seat at the currently. Like, how does it feel? You're looking to get into the postseason and like obviously push on and maybe get into the playoffs as well. Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, got like 50, 40, 50 more games left, so we got a lot of games left, a lot of basketball ahead of us. So we just gotta stay locked in and try, try to string together some wins. Is there any more changes you guys are gonna make in terms of trying to push up the table to obviously get into a better season? Nah, uh, just try to win. <laughs> get as much wins as we can. Just win. That's what it is to it. 
You have a lot of fun in France. Do you have a message for them? Say again? You have a lot of fun in France. Do you have a message for them? Yeah. Uh, come out to the game, support me. I appreciate all the support. <laughs> Whether it looks like it or not, I appreciate all the support. You know, it's good to have different fans in different countries. So I definitely cherish that a lot. So just come out to the game, get my jersey, I'll sign it. Because, you know, I don't know when I'll come back out here. So we'll see. So I'll definitely be, you know, try to put on a good show for my fans and the fans that's out here watching the game tomorrow. For sure. Have you already managed to see something special or try something special like food or drinks or something? No, uh, not yet. I just been uh, sleep, sleep, this, the practice. <laughs> you know, the time, the, the jet lag and time difference is killing me right now. So probably just, I probably try to, well, I mean, we went to Eiffel Tower yesterday, took pictures there. So that was probably the only sightseeing I've done so far. So that's good. But no, I haven't really done nothing yet. I just been sleep. Yeah. Yeah. I'm late to get there. Yeah, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, yeah. Last question, was it a good experience for you? Yeah, it was good. Uh, I only played in one one game because I hurt my ankle. So, I mean, that one game was really competitive, though. We played Chicago. But even when I was watching, uh, the competition level was high. Everybody was playing to the final buzzer. You know, you don't really see that too often, but everybody was playing to the final buzzer. And that was really a good thing to see. So, you know, it's definitely a good thing for the league, for the NCAA tournament. So, you know. For a team, was it difficult to concentrate on the game on such a tournament at the beginning of the season is it uh, is it a kind of motivation for what, additional additional motivation is it different going through is it different yeah. the tournament yeah, yeah. oh yeah just from what was like the winning prize it was like 500k so everybody wants a little bit extra money in their pocket so yeah that's definitely as if they added stakes to it but nah not really it's just still a basketball game but the money to it obviously makes it more amplified so that's really it yeah uh, Extra money. Are you okay with yeah, it's the last one, yeah. Yeah, uh, the, uh, there was some kind of backlash about uh, teams uh, being up 25 and something and battling for the point differential. Uh, how do you feel about it? It's is it okay or maybe doesn't feel right? <laughs> no, that's perfectly fine. That's basketball, though. I, I think I don't know. It's just this unwritten, unwritten, uh, unwritten rule that you can't score. You know, you just don't run up the score. Like me, I like running up the score. So. <laughs> I mean, you, you shouldn't. I don't care. When by 80, you can't ask me that question. So I'm on the side where you keep playing to the final buzzer. So, you know, so you just keep scoring until it says 0-0. Zero, zero. That's how I look at it. But I don't know. I feel like it was good for the league, though. It's competitive. Everybody was playing hard, playing at a high level. But me, I said, run the score. Even as if, you know, we're losing, they have the right to keep scoring. Like, we got to stop them to the final buzzer. So if you don't want to score, stop them. So that's just how I look at it. You're giving up. Can I say a 30 piece tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> we'll see, man. We'll see. We'll see. Thank, you. Thank you, man. Appreciate it.